Now that you've got your cluster up and running, it's time to get your hands dirty. Let's start by creating a database. All you need to do is open the CockroachDB SQL shell and run a create database statement, followed by the name of the database. By the way, all of the SQL commands in the CockroachDB SQL shell should end with a semicolon. That's it. Now, if you run show databases with a semicolon, of course, you'll see your newly created database along with the default database and some system databases. Now let's create a table in that database. Use the create table statement, then the database where the table should live and the name of the table, followed by the list of fields and their types. One of the fields in the table should be specified as the primary key. It's sort of a unique identifier of a record. You can also add other constraints, like specifying that a field shouldn't have any null values. Check out our course on schema design to learn more about best practices for creating tables and databases. If you run show tables from database now, you'll see the list of all the tables in that database, including the table we just created. The estimated row count is zero because the table doesn't have any records yet. So let's add some. The easiest way to add data is to use an insert statement. It's insert into, followed by the database and table name, the list of columns to be populated, the values keyword, and then the actual values to be inserted, in the same order as the column names in the list. By the way, if you need a reminder about the schema of a particular table, you can use show columns from table to see the list of all the columns and their types. You can also use the insert statement to add multiple records at once. Multi-row inserts are faster than multiple single-row inserts. So to bulk insert data, batch multiple rows in one multi-row insert statement. For an even better performance, you can use the import command. Check out our docs link below to learn more. Once you've added records to a table, you can verify that they were loaded. To read the data from a table, use a SELECT statement. SELECT STAR, meaning all columns, FROM, and the name of the table. This will show all the records in the table with all the columns. Be careful with running SELECT STAR on large tables. You don't want to print millions of records into the shell. If you want to see just a few records at once, you can use the limit clause after select to restrict the number of records read. All right, that was a lot and fast. Let's quickly recap. Start by running create database to create a database. Then use create table to create a table in that database. To add some data, use insert with one or more records. To check out the data in the table, use the SELECT statement, maybe with a limit clause. At any point, you can use the SHOW commands, like SHOW databases or SHOW tables, to see information about your data. Now head to the labs and start working with your cluster.